Brothers and sisters in Christ, it's Saturday, it's about noon, and I hate to bring you this message, especially at this time, but in light of all of the things that are happening within our community and within the global world today with the pandemic of the coronavirus, we are canceling services in person worship for this weekend and for the foreseeable future. We've looked at everything that there is and in conversation with health officials, feel that this is the smallest part that we can play in containing the virus that affects our community. We know that we don't have all the facts and figures and probably will not have accurate estimates until complete testing of the communities is done and we don't have that yet. However, what we do know is from working with past epidemics, these things will work. We will be able to flatten the curve, in other words, help our health officials contain the virus and respond appropriately if we engage in some social distancing and precautionary measures. Not meeting in large groups, continuing to wash and take precautions, continuing to be the people of God in the world today. At this time, in-person worship services for Living Lord Lutheran Church in Bartlett are suspended. We will be broadcasting tomorrow a 1030 service. It'll be a, a modified service and we encourage you to tune in online. Follow the links on our homepage, www.livinglordlutheran.org and continue to worship in that way. As we progress through the days, we'll have other information. At this time, building activities are severely curtailed. We will still be a polling place on Tuesday, and other activities of the church will be modified. Here's what we do know. We do know that you are the body of Christ, and you respond in wonderful ways. We have already collected through our offerings this Lent enough to stock our food pantry with macaroni and cheese and peanut butter and jelly, and we give thanks for that. There are other ways that you can help. You can join your prayers with those of people of all times and places. You can continue to be in touch with your neighbors. Please be in touch through telephone contact and virtual contact as we go through these weeks together. I hope to be bringing you video messages several times a week with short devotions that will encourage and lift your spirit. But as we go forward now, I encourage you to be of good cheer, to remember Christ's words, I am with you always, even unto the end of the age, and continue to remember who you are and whose you are through the virtue of your baptism here in Christ Jesus. I want to leave you with a short blessing. It's not my words, but words that have been circulating around through the global community. But please hear these words and take them to heart. The world now is too dangerous and too beautiful for anything but love. May your eyes be so blessed that you see God in everyone. May your ears be blessed so that you hear the cry of the poor. May your hands be so blessed that everything you touch is a sacrament. Your lips so you speak nothing but the truth in love. May your feet be so blessed that you run to those who need you. May your heart be so opened, so set on fire, that your love, your love, changes everything. With God's eternal blessing, amen.